Hello everyone. So we are at the TU Delft campus and we are standing right in front of the Baukunden, which is the Faculty of Architecture. And we would like to take you to inside the campus and get you acquainted with the sustainable practice that we are doing in campus and around the campus. So let's check. We are at the entrance of the Baukunden. As you can see, we have a container for disposable batteries in all size and shapes. Uh, hi, so we are now here at the BK Green Initiative, which is a group that introduces sustainable practices in the faculty. So this is a shelf where students can just put their residual materials for anyone to use whenever they like for the models at the model hall over here. Uh, we're here to show that we segregate waste. We have three different dustbins, one for plastic, one for regular waste and one for paper. A special thing is that we also have a separate dustbin for paper cups and we only use paper cups for coffee in the faculty and this is used only for the paper cups which are recycled and reused again. All toilets in the faculty are equipped with the cloth towel instead of the paper towel so that they can be used, washed and then reused again. Espresso bar. Here, if you bring your own mug, you can get a discount. Also, there is another option to compensate your environmental impact. By paying the true cost of the coffee that you are applying, uh, also the extra money goes to the charity which helps to have more sustainable coffee. We have a new vending machine which uh, has 100% plant based products which is milky free alternatives for healthier lifestyle. This promotes more sustainable uh, everyday living for coffee as well and encourages students to use this instead of the regular uh, vending machine which has normal milk in daily products. To reduce the carbon consumption and to promote healthy eating habits, our cafeteria only provides vegetarian food. All the studios here at BK are equipped with the infrared sensors in this room, so when people are away, it switches off, and when people enter, they switch on automatically. We are in one of the studios of the BK. Uh, we have an automated uh, sun shading system, and when there is a sun uh, in the on some, on some uh, side of the facade, uh, the blinds came down automatically and on the side that there is no sun, we can use the maximum daylight. Uh, all the papers on the campus are collected, recycled and then used here for printing in the library. This is a solar pod. We have multiple of these all around the campus. It is used to charge your e-bikes. You also see that the amount of power is given on this small screen. One of the sustainability goals of QDEL is to become climate neutral by end of 2030. To achieve this, there are a lot of developments going around the campus. One such is the use of Earth's energy to heat the campus and the city. The Green Village. Uh, Green Village is the lab for sustainable innovations. So any new idea or technology can be tested here in the Green Village to see how it works and is this uh, also efficient or not. Yeah, you can. Oh. TU Delft Stream teams are dedicated student teams who strive to become Europe's best at solving pressing issues by competing in worldwide competitions. Each student in a Dream Team dedicates a year of their academic life, working full-time on projects that propel innovation forward to pave a way for a more sustainable future. To give one such example, our Vattenfall Solar Teams, formerly known as Nuon Solar Team, has been participating in international solar races since 2001. 
In these two decades, they have won 10 World Solar Racing titles and set two world records.